Hello friends, welcome again in JSN RS Solution YouTube channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to utilize ArcGIS Accuracy Assessment and Confusion Matrix tools to validate land use and land cover changes map. I hope you guys will like this tutorial. So let's get started. So first, uh, go to Arc Toolbox and then uh, Special Analyze Tools and uh, uh, under Special Analyze Tools, you will find Segmentation and Classification and here you will find uh, create accuracy assessment points so first uh, i will create accuracy assessment points so here uh, just drag and drop uh, your llc map as input raster or feature class data and and then uh, output accuracy assessment points define your path where you want to save your output file so i'm going to define the path where uh, i'm going to save um, the output file so and i'm going to write the uh, name accuracy points and after that click save and here you will find target field so uh, in target field uh, you will get the two options classified and ground truth so i'm i'm, I'm select i'm select uh, i'm selecting classified and then number of uh, random points it depends on the study uh, study area or your study site uh, i'm going to write uh, 100 random points and here sampling strategy so you will uh, you will find here three strategy and um, you will uh, get the details of uh, three strategy um, I, i've selected uh, random and click ok and then you will find accuracy uh, points has been created so i will i will check this uh, check this uh, check this point using uh, google earth and if you go to the properties or uh, uh, sorry if you go to the attribute table then uh, you will find here classified and then uh, ground truth uh, to uh, field as well so here you can see the classified field one two three four five it is the uh, land use classification one water body two bare land three settlement four vegetation and five agricultural land you can check a uh, one by one uh using this uh table i will check this uh, uh using uh google earth so uh, uh before that uh, i will convert this accuracy point into a uh, kml file so for that go to conversion tools and then to kml layer to kml and here drag and drop uh, uh, layer accuracy point and then output file define the path where you want to save your output file so i'm going to rename it as accuracy point and then uh, click save and then click ok so my accuracy point has been uh, saved in uh, as kml file and uh, now i'm going to open this accuracy point kml file and it has opened here you can see over here the accuracy point that i have created uh, you can see here the red red uh, dot line red dot is the accuracy point that i have created just you can uh, you can increase or decrease the uh, size and uh, you can change the color as well accuracy point uh, of the classified uh, image so now if you go to the properties of LUC map then you can see here one two three four five values that means whatever body bare land settlement vegetation and agricultural land i have prepared this map using uh, unsupervised classification that's why uh, the value is uh, one two three four five uh, as in a serial way and uh, then i will go to the uh, tribute table of accuracy point and this is unedictable so go to uh, accuracy point and then edit feature and start editing now i will check uh, one by one that the point is accurate or not 
first uh, first point you can see here uh, one outer body two bare land so two is bare land you can see here the color now I will check this uh, bare land uh, it is uh, correct or not uh, using the Google Earth so you can see here uh, it is uh, fallen it has fallen in the agricultural uh, land so it is not correct bare land it has fallen in uh, agricultural land so it will be yeah two so it will be uh, five as the value of agricultural land is five and then second is four and it is vegetation so now i will check this point uh, in the google earth it is vegetation in our classified image so you can check here the uh, in the google earth it, it is uh, it's correct it is vegetation so it will be four and then third one five that means it is agricultural land so now we'll check uh, in google earth five yeah it is fallen in agricultural land so it is also correct so it will be five as it is correct and then uh, four it uh, it is uh, vegetation now we'll check in google earth but uh, we can see here uh, it has fallen in agricultural land so it is uh, incorrect so here in ground truth point uh, field uh, it will be uh, five as it has fallen in agricultural land and then uh, one as it is water body it is water body so we'll check uh, in google earth let's see and uh, it has uh, fallen in uh, water body so it is also correct as it is correct we will uh, we will put the number one uh, in the ground truth uh, field okay then next uh, four uh, value that means it is vegetation so we will check this point in google earth and if we go to the google earth and check and you can see here it has uh, fallen in uh, um, agricultural land so Oh no it uh, it has fallen in the bare land that was bare land yeah so uh, similarly uh, I will check all the points and uh, and correct and uh, put the value as per the point and then save edits stop edit and after checking all the points and uh, put the number uh, therefore uh, again uh, compute confusion matrix double click on this conf compute confusion matrix and drag and drop the accuracy points in the input accuracy assessment points and output confusion matrix in this field uh, i i mean uh, define the path where you want to save your output file and rename it i'm going to rename it as confusion matrix and then click ok so uh, confusion matrix has been done so you can see here uh, the confusion matrix uh, uh, where uh, you will find total number or and total number of classes of each uh, uh, land class and producer accuracy as well also user accuracy kappa coefficient and uh, uh, the overall num number also and you can copy uh, this uh, value and paste in the excel file for further analysis You will find here uh, user accuracy, producer accuracy, kappa, and uh, all the uh, and all the things. Anyway, I hope you will find this video useful. I have another details video on accuracy assessment with reference. Just go to the description section. You will get a link. Thank you for watching.